What's going on? I didn't address this before, but I'm gonna address this now. It's about Method Man, and uh, he gave a performance recently, and the fans it was, it was New York and the hip hop fans out there were younger, and they just weren't feeling um, his music. But he said, you know, he wasn't tripping about it because there is ageism. You know, hip hop music, unless it's, I want to say like a novelty song, like Rapper's Delight, you know, something that everybody kind of knows or remembers or something like that. You're going to have a hard time in the age section of people gravitating towards it. See, rappers don't get to age well. They don't get to... They got their lane, but they don't get to age well because the newer heads come along. It's it's kind of like if you were going to take someone now who grew up on Kevin Hart's comedy or even Cat Williams' comedy, something like that, and take them to Eddie Murphy. They're not going to... The timing, the jokes... Now, I'm going to tell you like this. That's the, one of the most ridiculous things that could be said because a great... Comedy is like a great song. It's timeless. But the punchline don't hit like it did at such, such a time. Even though people recycle this all the time. But being a rapper, and as charismatic as Method Man is, because he does TV and film and everything, and people generally know him, there's a whole era only knows him for his roles, and you know, playing street roles or certain things. They don't know about his hip-hop career. Actually, 20 years ago, when he started doing them videos with Alicia Keys, you know, doing them videos, he started, you know, doing different roles. He got removed from the Wu-Tang, got removed from his solo career. So, you know, they don't really identify. It's not their fault. However, it is the lack of respect for hip hop in the sense that. Unless, of course, it's a catchy bubblegummy type of song or something catchy. Don't go back on it because it's only seen as like a fast food form of music. You know, and people may not like that when you say that, but ask yourself, you think people are going to, you know, how do you think they're going to like, unless, of course, like with Tupac and Biggie, who both passed. But that's why that gets romanticized, too. I don't know that if they were alive today, that people would be still bumping their stuff of a younger era. Because there are people who have an issue with 50 or 40 plus year old rappers. They just don't really it because it, it's something that's still like a new thing. It really is. It's not something that has been ingrained. It's just only in recent memory. And you see Jay Z performing certain things, or Snoop performing, or Nas, Dre, you know, and I guess Eminem's trying it, but it don't really hit the same. It really don't hit the same because it really is from twenty to thirty five type of thing. Now we'll see what happens with Drake and Kendrick Lamar as far as if they can. Break that monotony, you know, you get older doing it. But most time, young game, young face, young flow. They don't want the old guard. And so, we'll, you know, it's a reality that, um, you know. But he was cool about it. Meth didn't trip about it. But there is ageism in that, in that genre of music. More so than any other form of music. Even with popular music. Because with pop music. And I know some people say women get not going to get. Oh, that's a lie. Female artists can still hit long term. Barbara Streisand had a long career. Adele on a long career. Any other style of music, it ain't a big thing. But hip hop, that's a different juggernaut. Please like, subscribe, welcome to those comments. And I do respond. Thank you. Wash your hands. Keep your mind clear. Watch out for another shit if you like my piece.